Assalamu alaikum. This exercise was given to me by a student of mine. It has been uh, one week, I think. And uh, I take this uh, choice to uh, answer him by uh, video so other persons can uh, get uh, benefit from this, uh, this video. So the exercise said that prove that uh, the sum from k equals to 0 until n of the integer part of x plus k over n plus 1 this is equal, equal to the integer part of n plus 1 times x x is a real number so I will need this line this segment later so, uh, x is a real number, so there exists uh, an integer part such that, and a remainder such that x is equal to integer part n plus r and r is strictly less than 1 and greater than or equal to 0. <coughs> so this r this is from 0 to 1. So we divide 0, 1 to 1 over n plus 1, 2 over n plus 2, uh, plus 1, sorry, 3 over n plus 1, k over n plus 1, <coughs> e over n plus 1, and 1 which is n plus 1 over n plus 1. And here we consider double index we consider k for which we uh, calculate the sum and we consider e such that the uh, the sum from 0 to 1 0 1 over n plus 1 e over n plus 1 until n plus 1 over n plus 1 which is equal to 1 for sure since r belongs to 0 1 so there exists e which belongs to 0 until n plus 1 such that such that what such that r is strictly less than e plus 1 over n plus 1 and greater than or equal to e over n plus 1. Here we have e over n plus 1, the follower e plus 1 over n plus 1. The element which is before e minus 1 over n plus 1 and so on. And e is independent of k. And from this, we can get that n plus 1 times r, times r is greater than or equal e and strictly less than e plus 1 yeah so keep this in one hand let us turn back to our equation so x is equal to integer part n plus 
fractional domain there are. And if we consider if we consider this one, it will be the integer part of n plus 1 x. This is equal to the integer part of n plus 1 m plus r. And this, this is equal to n plus m m. So n plus m m, which is the integer part of x, plus what? Plus n plus, uh, uh, we can write it because this is an integer part, so uh, we, can, uh, we can write n plus 1 m, but m is the integer part. This is a very known relation. Uh, if you need it, so you can, uh, you can uh, check for a, a video of mine. I explained this relation before. So, so we have the integer part of r, so uh, n plus 1 r, the integer part of n plus 1 r is, the is less than the integer part of e plus 1 and greater than or equal the integer part of e. This means that plus, plus e. <coughs> so this is 1. For the second, for, for this, we take the integer part of uh, we take the integer part of x plus k over n plus one, and this is equal to the integer part of so m plus r plus k over n plus one. But, but, R is between those. So, this is equal to M plus the integer part of R plus K over N plus 1, which is, which is, which is, greater than or equal m plus the integer part of this means this the integer part of what r is between e and this so we have here greater than this one so k plus e over n plus one and less than strictly less than m plus k, k plus 1 plus e, so k plus 1 plus e over n plus 1, and we take the integer <coughs> part. <coughs> so here plus, let me use this symbol, which means integer part. If we take the sum, so if we take the sum, we have here, well, what we have? We have here, which is less than and greater than. If we take the sum on both of the equations, so it will be the sum here, the sum here, and the sum here. From k equal to 0 until n, from k equal to 0 until n, from k equal to 0 until n. <coughs> Unfortunately, I need more places, so I will, I will clean these places. This one, this one is equal to, so this one, two, two is equivalent to we, we sum from k equal to 0 to n, so n plus 1 times, so n plus 1 n plus 
the sum from k equal to 0 until n, the integer part of k plus e over n plus 1, which is less than or strictly less or. We have to pay attention to this one. And we will deduce the, uh, the third one. So, till k plus 1 is less than n plus 1, this will be equal to 0. So, from what, what uh, level, from what point, it will be equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 1. So, this, if k plus e is strictly less than n plus 1, the integer part is equal to 0. So, if k plus e is greater than or equal to n plus 1, this means that the integer part is 1 or 1 plus plus a fractional. But this means this. So all the numbers, the uh, integer part of the numbers for k equal to 0 until n plus 1, uh, until n, uh, uh, until n minus e, are equal to 0. So starting from, from what? From n plus 1 minus e, starting from this point, until n, <coughs> will be will be equal to 1. So, let us start from this one. So, all these, starting from here, are equal to 1. So, we sum from n plus 1 minus e until n 1. It will be what? It will be n minus n minus uh, minus 1 minus minus e which means n minus n minus 1 plus e plus 1 it will give us e so it will give us e which is less than or equal this and which is less than or strictly less than this sum plus e plus 1 so the integer part of this is equal to this and if it is equal to this so it is m is the integer part of x which is this one and this one are equal this means that the equality holds the second method but i will not do it it's um, uh, it's a, a little bit more uh, basic. <laughs> so we can remark that we can remark that if we consider a function f at each of x equal to the difference between them, so uh, h of x. If x is 0 and 1 over n plus 1, the integer part is between, uh, if x is between 0 and 1 over n plus 1, this function is equal to 0. And we remark that, we remark that this function, h, is 1 over n plus 1 periodic we can uh, we can um, we can verify since it is uh, 1 over n plus 1 periodic this means that if it is null it it's vanish on 0 1 over n this means that it will vanish on all r so the 
the uh, equation is true. So I repeat once again. If x is between 0 and 1 over n plus 1, it, it is equal to 0. The maximum is k equal n. So x it will, be, it will be between n plus 1 strictly less. So x plus k over n plus 1 is strictly less than 1. And greater or equal to 0, the integer path is equal to 0. And the same thing here. It's exactly the same thing. So it is equal to 0. But we can prove that each is 1 over n plus 1 periodic. Since it is equal on this interval and it is 1 over n plus 1 periodic, this means that it is it vanishes, it vanishes in all R. This is the second method. You can, you can work using this idea. I try to do my best. Thank you very much. See you uh, next time.